Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Esther and I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this wig from start to finish. If you are new to my channel, I'll kindly ask that you subscribe and without further ado, let's get started. These are the very basic tools that I'm going to be using to create this wig. This is the cap that I've been using now for several years. It fits my head perfectly. I don't need to do any further security adjustments to it. Luckily, I found this cap through trial and error. So if you are having difficulty finding a cap that fits you perfectly, just keep trying them. You will find one that eventually fits your head like a glove. And I've used my pins to secure the closure onto my mannequin head. This helps to make sure that the closure is as flat as possible. And when I'm sewing the closure onto the cap, it also helps to make sure the closure doesn't move. The first stitch that I'm taking through the closure is going to be the only one that goes through every single layer of the cap. The rest of the stitching on the closure is only going to go through the upper layer of mesh on the cap. While your lips down, hips down, they should be up high. You ain't tryna sit down, sit down, sit down no night And I know you wish down, wish down, you ain't worry about time Tryna get a grip now, this gal grab my hand and I told her, I want you and I need you and I got you in your mind I had to come on over cause good lord girl you fine Now I'm going to begin stitching my bundles onto the cap. I'm going to be stitching from ear to ear down at the back of the cap. using the fold over method rather than cutting the wefts when I get to the edge of the cap and to do this I just take the weft I fold it over back to the direction I'm going to continue sewing in I take my needle through the weft and out through the cap and I do that one more time and then I continue stitching as normal customization to the closure just to make sure the hairline looks a little bit more natural I also added some of my liquid foundation to the parting and some of my bronzer to the front of the closure just so it matches my skin tone a bit more that's pretty much 
much how I make every single one of my wigs. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video before you leave and also leave a comment down below if it's been helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and check out Beauty Forever. All the details for the hair is going to be in the description box so check that out. Bye for now. Oh